Hello, and welcome to C++ Weekly. I'm your host, Jason Turner. Once a week, I pick some topic of interest in C++ and dig into it with some live coding. In this episode, I'm going to discuss fold expressions from C++ 17. Over several episodes in the last few weeks, I covered ways of emulating fold expressions in C++ 14, and we ended up with something like this. So we grab the common type of the types that are passed in and set that to our result. And then using this kind of hacked together initializer list expansion, we sum up all of the values of t that were passed in. We return the result and we call it and we call c out. And hopefully this works. Now we're going to be using a modern version of Clang because Clang has been supporting fold expressions for quite some time, so we're just going to start with it here. And because of some C++ stuff here, we need to put type name, but the compiler told us what we needed. And we get the sum 10.5. Everything worked. But C++ 17 gives us some options for doing this better. And in fact, much better. So while we have this option for sum in C++14, why don't we just say go ahead and use a fold expression that is part of the language standard now in C++17, and we can do something like this, t plus dot dot dot. And the compiler is going to sum up all of these values and return it. And it's just that straightforward. And we should be able to get the exact same result in both cases. And we do 10.5 in both. It uses the appropriate common type, so it's promoting the first two things to floating points, and everything's working out as expected. And as you can see, this is way, way less code. And it could be interesting, I haven't done this yet, to see if we've got any kind of compile time impact. So let's do this. This is a very small example, but we can still maybe try to get a, an idea. So that took 0.6 seconds and used 52 megs of RAM using the C++17 feature. And using the C++14 option. Oh, it's about the same. Probably should have enabled optimizations just to see if that changes anything. Not really. All right, so probably, possibly not a big impact on compile time or executable size, but because the compiler is going to be so good at optimizing those things away. But this is interesting regardless. So we can do other things with fold expressions from C++17, and I'm really just going to scratch the surface here, but let's say we want to do a divide out all the values. So we can divide them out, so we expect 1 divided by 2 is a half, divided by 3 is something like 1.6. I did not change the name of the function. Uh, so fold expressions can be expanded either on the left or on the right or in the middle. There's lots of options. So you could do something like this. And we're going to get 1.6667. Or we can expand it on the left like I just indicated. Or you can even do things like add other expressions in here, I believe. Let's do it like that. That compiles, gives us some other output. 
So there's a lot of power here, and it, then you can do you know some pretty cool things too. Like you can say, well, let's make an average function, and we want to sum up all of these values, and then divide it by the size of the number of parameters passed in. So the average of one plus two plus three is going to be two, I believe. That's not terribly exciting, and of course, I forgot to update the name. Let's see if I can get the syntax for this size of right here. There we go. And we get the average is 2. So let's make things just a little bit more interesting to prove that we're doing what we think we're doing. So these fold expressions can be used for lots of different things. And they can, you know, be used together with the initializer list kind of things that we've shown before in function calls. And as you can see here, we have initializers, packing things, can be any of the following 32 binary operators. So you can even do things like expanding on function calls. And that's quite interesting. So this is definitely something to consider as you're moving to C++17 to avoid the hacks that we've had to implement in C++14. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, and check out any of the links below.